the main question I try to address is uh, to find out to what extent the CFTA helped revive the stalled regional integration process in North Africa. Uh, my main argument is that uh, because of the uh, market-led uh, approach to integration in Africa, the CFTA will not help uh, boost the uh, 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 African trade uh, 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 flows and will not help uh, address the uh, uh, very, very acute uh, uh, challenges of poverty uh, of, uh, and the development of uh, uh, sustainability, of uh, gender relations. So we have to uh, make like a, a paradigm shift to uh, what we can call uh, a transformative regionalism uh, based on uh, heterodox and feminist uh, uh, policies. North Africa trade agreements are uh, biased uh, in a vertical sense toward the EU with uh, very uh, negative effects for, for the, the, the Maghreb uh, uh, region. And the, the, the region also is suffering from uh, a, a, a multitude of overlapping memberships, even though we have a, multi a multitude of uh, 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 trade uh, uh, agreements. Uh, so uh, it's not uh, uh, surprising that the uh, process is very slow and uh, the Maghreb region is one of the maybe most, uh, uh, the, the lowest integrated region uh, in, in the world. As for the impact or the potential impact of the CFTA on, on the, the Maghreb region, uh, there are few studies uh, which try to uh, quantify the, the impact. We are expecting some, some, some economic benefits uh, because of the uh, uh, removal of uh, tariffs uh, and, uh, on trade and uh, NTBA, uh, non-tariff barriers, but uh, the, 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 the effectiveness of this uh, uh, approach uh, depends on the uh, uh, removal all, uh, of all uh, tariffs uh, on trade and then with the, uh, on the uh, NTBA. It's also uh, contingent about uh, building infrastructure in order to uh, make uh, goods uh, move smoothly uh, across the, the boards, uh, borders, but the, the maybe maybe we can we have also to, to stress on the challenges that the, the, this uh, this uh, kind of regional integration process will will, will bring uh, uh, mainly for uh, what we can see and what we can say is that there will be certainly a biased uh, biased distributive effects. Uh, uh, in favor of big corporations, uh, big uh, agribusiness, uh, some uh, powerful countries, which are not uh, uh, which are so few, and uh, uh, the impact would be dramatic uh, mainly for agriculture. And uh, my friend Tete will, uh, uh, spoke, uh, will speak about this issue uh, later. Uh, so uh, there's also, as we can uh, witness, is a kind of uh, uh, blindness when it comes to uh, uh, gender issues. Uh, the, the, the CFTA lack, uh, lacks uh, a gender framework uh, 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 or, or, or policy. So uh, what we can expect uh, without any uh, any strengthening of uh, local capacities, productive capacities, is just uh, the, the, the uh, Africa will be like uh, a, a gateway for, 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 for uh, uh, multinationals, for foreign goods to, to move across borders and uh, maybe to marginalize more the, the uh, 
uh, small and uh, medium farmers, and it, it can be also harmful for, for labor rights and uh, uh, women. So uh, what we need is a, a paradigm shift uh, towards uh, uh, transformative regionalism. And when I talk about transformative regionalism, it's mainly about uh, 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 regionalism which uh, uh, help promote industrialization, structural transformation, which is based on uh, solidarity, uh, on cooperation, rather than on the, the very uh, uh, economistic, uh, uh, rational, uh, which is prevailing uh, 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 nowadays. And uh, to, 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 to build this uh, transformative transformer, with this transformative regionalism, we need to uh, adopt heterodox and feminist uh, uh, policies. I mean, uh, uh, mainly uh, some strategic approach to, to, to trade uh, liberalization, a very careful and step-by-step -step, uh, uh, the, the liberalization in order not, not to, to, to harm the, uh, the building of uh, uh, local uh, uh, productive capacities. Uh, and uh, we need also uh, uh, industrialization. I, ha I have some proposals uh, I, I would like to, to highlight uh, 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 quickly. First, uh, one of the main obstacles to regional integration in the Maghreb is uh, the political uncertainty which is prevailing now um, uh, at the aftermath of the uh, Arab Spring. And uh, there are also some uh, interstate struggles in the region, which uh, uh, hinders the, the which hinder the, the process of uh, regional integration. So well, I think that civil society can help uh, in order to bridge uh, the, the uh, connection between uh, between uh, different uh, non-state uh, uh, actors and maybe uh, put pressure on states in order to move forward, uh, to uh, uh, put uh, uh, transformative regionalism in, in, in practice. Uh, I think we have also, it's, it's a, a very, very big issue, we have to fight for policy space in order to uh, make uh, transformative regionalism happen. And this is not a, a, a minor issue, it's about the, the uh, balance of power at the regional and uh, at the international le uh, level. Uh, we have also to make sure that uh, gender uh, equality and sustainability are top priorities in, in, in our region. And uh, uh, priority also have to be given to the coordinated promotion of uh, productive capacities especially in manufacturing and high productivity uh, 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 services. And then, maybe the last point, uh, not the least point, is, is about uh, participation, ownership, democracy. And without uh, democratic governance and citizen participation, it will be very hard to move forward. Thank you so much.